anointing for financial prosperity. Deuteronomy chapter 8 verse 18. The Bible says, And you shall remember the Lord your God, for it is he who gives you power to get wealth. Power to get wealth. That power is the anointing that enables people to perform money wealth riches can come through empowerment whatever you see Satan and his agent doing outside remember most of the time is imitation of the principles you find in the kingdom because Satan was working in the presence of God he was a worship leader in heaven he knows what works in the kingdom of God now you will see in the kingdom of darkness people go to witch doctors people go and do rituals why because certain powers has to come and assist them in their quest of making money if the enemy can make someone rich then god has better power god is well positioned to lift his children up and that power is not dependent on your effort that power does not depend on your education it does not depend Depends on your background. Power to become rich comes from God and is a result of favor and blessing of God on your life. Power that make people rich is available to the practitioners of his covenant. Scripture says, and you shall remember the Lord your God for it is he who gives you power to get wealth that he may establish his covenant not your covenant his covenant which he saw through your father as it is this day now when you practice the covenant requirement you automatically qualify to access this power for wealth. Remember that poverty came when man disobeyed God in the garden. And then God cursed the ground. He said it will not produce. It will produce what? Thorns and thistles. Now, the curse that was on the ground on earth brought poverty. Now, this man, Noah, coming out of the ark after all these months of flooding it came out the first thing he did he took from the little animals he had and offered sacrifices to god god was so happy with that then god said i will never interesting he did not say i will not he said i will never curse the ground again curse the ground for man's sake did man change no did the heart of man change no he said although the imagination of man's heart is evil from his youth even if he's still evil because of what noah has done i have decided to never curse the ground because of the behavior of man this is powerful and he said no will i again destroy every living thing as i've done now there are two things here 
God cancelled his own cases because of man. He said, I will not do this again. Then he said, I will not also destroy man the way I did. Verse 22. Then he gives a principle from that time that he will no longer curse the ground because of man. In other words, he will not put poverty on earth because of man. Now he established a new law, a new principle. That's what is a covenant. Because when God says never, is, he has bound himself. Listen. He says, while the earth remains, as long as this world exists like this, Everything will work on one principle. Seed time and harvest. Cold and heat. Winter and summer. Day and night shall not cease. As long as this earth remains. Seed time. Now if you sow. Because the curse is removed. Harvest must come. If day comes, the night must come. If there is winter, summer must come. You see, before I come to the first part there, say, day and night shall not cease. As long as this earth remains, in other words, it's not longer by chance. You cannot say by chance, oh, God has cursed my, 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 the, my ground. It's not working because, no, it now depends on you. And, and I love the fact that if there is a night, there will be a day. For some of you here, under the sound of my voice, you are in your night time. And because you are in your night time, naturally I know your day time is coming. That's why the psalmist says, weeping may endure, but joy comes in the morning. I might be crying now, weeping now. It's only my night season. But I know my day is coming. If you are going through rough time, difficult time, I'm here to announce to you, that is your night time. Because you have night time, surely there will be a day time. Because this earth still exists. If it's your, your winter time, it's cold financially, there will be a summer time. And that time is coming. If you all turn unto Christ, you stay with Jesus. It's a matter of what time? It's a principle. It's part of the covenant. And God does not break his covenant with the day, neither with the night. God keeps his covenant. This is the covenant of the fathers. Now, if you operate in this covenant, this is just one example of them. You can be sure it does not matter what happened. If you are sowing, you will be reaping. Financial prosperity comes through power and that power is released to people who operate where in the covenant and that does not respect anyone if you do the terms and the condition you you get the benefit and this term and condition is what seed time and harvest shall not cease this way you find some worldly people they are practicing seed time. And naturally, they may not love God the way you love him. Harvest must come also their way. 
Now, let me explain to you why this giving is important. Number one is because God blesses you for you to be blessing to others. Are you with me? Genesis chapter 12. After he has told Abraham, depart from your country, your family, your father's family, uh, your father's house to the place I'll show you. Verse 3. He said, I will bless those who bless you. I will curse him who, who curses you. Now watch carefully this. And in you, in who? In you, Abraham, all the families of the earth shall be blessed. All the families of the earth. First, through the preaching of the gospel, they will be blessed. But also by you helping the poor. You advancing the kingdom. You promoting the work of God. Now, that's the reason God blesses. Now, the reason he gives you riches is not for you and your children. It's for the help. If there is a child next to you who does not go to school, the reason God gives you more money is to make sure that the child goes to school. If there is a person who is suffering in poverty, he has challenges, he has difficulties, the reason God gave you money is to alleviate the poverty and the pain of other people. That's why God gives money. Remember he said, through you Abraham, all the families of the earth will be blessed. The gospel cannot be preached without money. Then God said, I will bless you. You will have the money and you will advance the kingdom of God. That's how it works. That's why when you give, it is important Important to God and is committed to bless you. The book of Proverbs, chapter 28, verse 27, says, He who gives to the poor will not lack. That's a, that's a good word where you should shout, Amen. <laughs> he who gives. To the poor will not lack you want to live a life where supply will always come give to the poor and the important thing is to put God first in all your giving because this one is tricky this is why I say I want to understand giving to the poor is important Giving to men of God, I can give you scripture after scripture after scripture after scripture, scripture starting from the very well known Galatians chapter 6, verse 6 and 7 and 8. Okay. But allow me to tell you this your giving, whatever you do in your giving, put God how? Put God first. Never. In your giving, put the poor, the men of God, your family, others first before God. Scripture says you will love God with all your heart, all your soul, all your mind, and with all your strength. And we know giving validates our love. You cannot say you love God, you don't give to God. You are lying. And this is how you become even more serious. Think of this. When you say, Lord, I love you more than everybody. This should also be, Lord, I give you more than. If you love God more than anything, you will not struggle with tithing. Because tithing is the number one giving to God. Now, to summarize, we said becoming rich or wealthy comes through the power of God, the anointing that God has availed. 
and that anointing that power is given to those who do what who operate in the covenant and giving is the anchor of the covenant and in our giving we must put god first god bless you